Well, the first thing we do is we ditch the die. Right, so I can just cut around the very edge of the margin of the crown. So I can kind of pull it away from the tissue or the stone so that we can take a scan it into the machine to make sure that we ensure a very accurate margin on the crown. That's what I'm doing first. See that we have a nice margin all the way around the crown. And this was the this was the impression that we that we started off with. And if you look very closely, we have a little extra all the way around so we can see the margins very clearly. Punch in your information and punch out the tooth that we're working on, which is tooth number 18. Go to the library, pick out a tooth type, and we're going to actually be using an Emacs high translucency CAD. Uh, make, a, make it out of an Emacs high translucency block, and we'll pick the shade and that in. The first step is we'll pull it up on the computer and we can scan that information in. And we'll take a series of scans. We scanned our model and it looks very nice. It looks really good. Now what we'll do is we will trim up part of the die here and just capture what we really want and remove some of this excess off of the out of the way. So we'll trim up our scans, make it a little more easy to visualize. We're left with something that looks about like that. Bring it in there so you can kind of see that a little bit. Let's bring that in so you can see here. There's our preparation. You can kind of scan and look at it all the way around and visualize what we need to see. Notice we can see the margins where I ditched those out. They look very nice. We actually have our blue mousse and it kind of fits on the die or the cast model such as that that indexes the upper teeth and how they relate to this mold on the lower. I'm actually going to trim just a little bit of it off. Once we got a little bit more I want to be able to see the tooth directly next to it. When I scan that into the computer, so I don't need some of this material, I'll trim that back off of the die using a lab knife. So we have something that looks similar to this, and that's how it fits and relates on the model. And you see how it's indexing the upper teeth? That's what we want. Now we will scan this particular image in, just really just around the blue moose material so that we can index that on our bite. And then we will scan that image in. I'll start with the back. So now that we've scanned that information in, let's scroll it back and see what we have. We have that as it relates to the top. And we can just basically delete the area that we don't necessarily want. So 
We'll take it up two teeth from where we are. And just remove just the area that's not necessary. And we have our that's placed in there. And we've got our model and our bite registration scanned in. Now we're ready to go ahead and start making the crown or designing the crown. So we'll go over to the next page, which is the margin. And we have to kind of center it in relation to where we want it to be. So we'll move that over. And we can look at it from a couple of different angles. Let's look at it from the buckle angle. We want to actually lean that up. So it's coming at it from that straightness. Let's look at it from the biting surface. I need to move that over. Over to the center. Back to the buckle. We have it relating there. I think we're in good shape there. And we'll have that as the orientation. So that'll have the draw angle for the crown. Now we have to create the margins on the, on the model. So we'll use a We'll actually highlight the areas which have more of a margin and it'll kind of paint the mar everything that's more of a, a sharper edge in green. And that's where our margins are. You can see a nice green line all the way around the, the cir circular circumference of the tooth. Let me see if I can zoom you in here a little bit so you can see that. You can see the green around the margin area of the tooth. I'll back you up here. Now, what we'll do is I'll move it over here a little bit. We'll take our trace button. We'll zoom in. And we will basically trace and put a little series of dots on the margin. And this is where we want the margin of the crown to be made on this image. So we kind of just follow the margin along that tooth preparation that we have. all the way around. Once we have their highlighted area there, we then just need to make sure that we have all of our areas covered. Anything that we need to move out just a hair. Or make sure that looks really nice. Space it out to just where it needs to be. So that looks perfect. All right. So there we have the margins of the tooth that we have. Now since we actually have a final tooth, oftentimes we have a tooth on either side. And since we don't, we'll actually have to tell the computer that we are only wanting, we only want one area of the tooth that's abutting up against the tooth and we don't want it to span over until it hits something way over here which is not there. So we have to add just where we want the highlight of the tooth to be which is right, we'll just highlight with a red marker here around the, just in the vicinity around the outside exterior part of the margin of the tooth. And that's showing that we just want to highlight that particular tooth. It's all in green. That will help us. So we've got that. The next step then is going to the design phase. When I hit the design phase, we'll see what the computer does. It'll actually incorporate that first, uh, the, the, that with the, uh, the bite registration material. 
and it will help us design with a crown. Well, there it goes, punches that in, and kind of puts a tooth shape to that area. Now that's not perfect, and that's not ideal where we want to have now that we want to have the crown made. But it places it there, and kind of gives us a sampling so we can see what we're needing to do to change it and modify it so that it becomes perfect. So once that's done, what I can do is I can look at it. There's definitely a few changes that we'll need to make. What I want to do is also I want to check and see how it relates to the bite. So I can highlight the bite. We can highlight the areas that are a little bit close to the biting surface of the other upper teeth. We can see we have a little heavier contact on these places. So we'll have to reduce those areas on the model or on the impression. So I'll go over and smooth the, take a little, inch, little tool here and we'll bring those back ever so slightly. Make sure that those aren't so we get the context a little shorter.